Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda HD Wind Waker. I said that backwards, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Uh, we have finally made it to Dragon Roost Island. We sailed on the back of the King of Red Lions after getting him a sail on Windfall Island. So now that we're here, we're actually going to do something a little sneaky that I don't know if most people know about. I didn't until I maybe did a little research. But uh, do you see that up there, viewers? That very precarious looking rock and some bomb flowers? Well, do I have something neat to show you today? Go ahead and go into your big sack here. Put it on the, I guess the arp. Uh... Okay, so we're gonna get the hoi pair. You're gonna see what this does in a second. Hold it up over your head and lo and behold, we are now in control of the government. So, this is what Hoi Pairs do. They let you be in control of seagulls. And doing this remotely. That is briefly the first example that you get of Link controlling something with his mind. Don't worry, it'll happen a lot. But that knocks this chest down, and when you open it up, wait for it now. A silver rupee. That's nice. 200 ruperinos. Very cool. So that's how we're going to start off today's mission. But we're actually going to go and visit some spirits. Not the kind you drink, unfortunately. Not yet. But there is a little tunnel here. We're going to go ahead and shimmy on down and there's a little uh little platform here that we need to investigate does this look familiar to you viewers oh my gosh markings that indicate specific instructions directions i cannot read let's pull out your wind waker this is gonna be a <laughs> oh viewers i'm so sorry Do we know this one, viewers? Of course we do. Oh boy, I'm scared. <sighs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> Thank goodness it counted. Oh, the Wind's Requiem. That's the first song that you can get. You'll get used to seeing this animation a lot. And first, a visit from a new friend. A mighty nice breeze. That's because he tooted. <laughs> mighty smelly breeze. This is Zephos, the god of winds. This will not be the first and only time we meet this creature. The link now is the new wind waker. You have a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That's good. So now we can control uh, how much blowing we do. Which is good. You should always be in charge of how much you're blowing. So, depending on how it's used, the wind can be a good or a bad thing. You be breaking that wind, but his brother Seaclose miffed because his monument's broken. So now he makes cyclones to torment people. So if we ever see cyclones at sea, we'll know who's causing it. A simple request. He's like, see ya, bye! He's on his little Nimbus cloud. I'm out of here! Okay, so that's all for now. Thanks for watching- no, I'm kidding. Um, oh, this is a crab. I thought this was a skunk for a second. I was like, what's this skunk doing out here? My vision is not great. Anyway, now it's time to actually penetrate deeper into Dragon Roost Island. There's a lot of rocks around. We don't have bombs yet, so we will have to rely temporarily on ruining all the ones available. <laughs> These are bomb flowers, by the way. For those of you unfamiliar to uh, Zelda. These are usually all over the place. And you'll notice that they do regrow. So in the event that you're stupid, like me, you should be okay. Now, they will explode over time. They are on a timer. As they get closer to exploding, they start to spaz out a little bit but we're gonna need to clear the way a little bit there's a lot of rocks 
preventing our ascent. So we're going to continue to travel. And every time that you blow up one of these rocks, it does appear that you get 10 rupees, which is pretty nice. The mail center. I'm not sure if that's where we want to go yet. I think we still need to clear the way. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. I don't know how I'm supposed to get a bomb up there. I'm going to try. We're going to have to go real fast. Go! Go, Link, go! Is that good? It is not. It's the thought that counts, except for when it doesn't. I thought about it. It was not good enough. That should do it. Nice. Now we can climb up here and get our Siddle game on. Wait for the prompt. Hello? No? <laughs> not what I said. I hit the button. Come on. Oh, I have to hold it. Hold it! I object to the game not letting me do this. So we're going to continue on. This is a little puzzle, I guess. There's no way that the game is just going to let you waltz on in to Dragon Roost. Absolutely not. Oh boy. You got to earn it. How did that not work? Oh, game. Don't I love you? Oh, I'm, I'm bouncing it off. I'm getting too close. Okay. We'll try it from here. No shenanigans. Good enough. That's like the story of my life. Good enough is good enough. Check this out. Good morning. Vietnam. All right. Nothing for delivery. In that case, let's go ahead and just venture on inside and make some friends. Hello. Who are you? Oh, you look very grumpy. Look at those eyebrows. Are you the one from Outset Island, perhaps? Oh, he's concerned for our safety. That's very kind. Emotional intelligence, very high for this bird. Surprisingly for the government. Oh, yeah. We voted it. Uh, dead. Link's like, I don't know. The silent protagonist strikes again. I'm sure she'll hang in there. That's very... Empathetic. I would like to meet your chieftain. Maybe they will give us some aid. I don't know if I want aid from the chieftain, but... He's like, see you bye! This is, that's what this episode should be called. It might be. See you bye! <laughs> Everybody just takes off. I've said, I've said enough! And then they just waltz on out of here. With their fancy wings and cyclones. Alright, let's see if there's any more rupees in here. We are just flush with cash right now. In the GameCube version, your wallet held a maximum of 200 rupees. So, the upgrade to 500 is certainly very, very beneficial. Alright, have you discovered the cause of the Great Blue's anger? Maybe he has the poops. All right, you can stop, you're inside. So this is the Rito Chieftain. Maybe he can help us. Quill, very commonly used name for birds, I guess. It's very clever, I like it. Okay, of course. Uh, well, our sister is gone, our grandma is dying, and um, everyone's out to get us. Oh. Everything has a catch. Of course, nothing is going to be that simple. Oh yeah. Look at that raging dragon. You're never going to catch that dragon. That could be like a metaphor too. Oh man, I got that raging dragon right now. Take that for whatever you will. Okay, so the dragon is the sky spirit Baloo. When a Rito reaches adulthood, they journey to the top of Dragon Wrist to receive a scale. That makes me think of, like, some crazy story I read. I don't know what, what, like, culture it is, but there was some tribe where once you became a teenager, they would take, like, the most skilled and beautiful and talented teenagers up into the mountains. They'd give them drugs from some sort of plant that would make them pass out, and then they would sacrifice them by having them die up in the icy mountains. So... Be thankful that the good old days are the good old days in the sense of not existing anymore. Oh, without the scale of the dragon, they can't fly? Okay. So Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. It sounds like he is uh, 
spending too many time, too much time on internet forums, looking at conspiracy theories on Facebook. It's no longer true. You can't really approach anybody like that. So the problem is that these new Rito are not going to be able to get their scales. They won't be able to fly. And that's going to end their way of life. So the chieftain wants our help. I think we can do that. What do you think? Absolutely. So let's go ahead and uh, figure all this out. Wants us to meet up with his son, Prince Kamali. Sounds like fun. Let's make friends with somebody else our age. Somebody with an open heart. This sounds like a great person to be around. Okay, awesome. It's a lot of talking here. I'd be okay with less of this. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is this is this is where the conflict of interest is. You know, his own son is of age to receive his wings, but he might just give up. Those birds in the background are very are very terrifying. So Link's a courageous boy. He wants his son to also learn the courage of the hero of time. So I think we can do that. We can go imprint ourselves on him. Sounds fair. Hopefully I actually do some something engaging. Some action in this episode. I don't know. A young girl named Medley is holding a special item. In this case. Quill is going to give that to us. And the item we receive is the delivery bag. Nice big sack for us. For Rito Postman. And Link. We'll see what we have inside. I wonder, wonder, wonder what you'll find inside. Okay, can you please stop talking to me? <laughs> I would love to do literally anything else besides having a, a more enduring conversation. Alright, so we're going to sneak past you. And we're going to go up here. And we're going to find the medley we've been looking for. Here she is. This is our new friend. Get used to her. We're going to be hanging out with her a lot during this playthrough. Um, excuse you. Don't judge a link by his tunic. All right. So this is one of Valu's attendants, Medley. If it quacks like a duck. Oh, so she's an attendant in studying. It's like when people say, I'm an aspiring this or that. No, you just are. You just are that thing. Just own it. So this is what we actually need to give the prince. This is from the chieftain. Medley is going to be the one to hand it off. She is the messenger. We got our messenger bag. Thank you. Don't get offended by him. He likes to swear a lot. Listen, Link. Small favor, oh boy. What's it going to be? Yeah, I think we could do that. You have to if you want to, you know, advance the game. Thanks, Medley. So anyway, items. Let's go ahead and open up our delivery bag. Put it on Y. I don't really see us needing the telescope in our present state. As such, we're going to go ahead and go back downstairs. Going to go visit the prince. He's being a little baby. All right, and she said he was in here, I think. Or is this how we got into the place? Is this the first floor? It'd be really strange to have your room be this one. I don't like the idea that people walking past my room give me all kinds of the business. And here he is, playing with his balls. Classic prince move. My friend. Can we help you? Um, just your new best friend. Here, have a letter that you don't want to read. That's it. From your father. That's it. He looks at it. He's like, I don't even know how to read. <laughs> it's just a bunch of cartoons. That's fine. I mean, he did at one point have to, right? I mean, like, unless somebody got it for him because he's fancy pants. What? We're in the letter, too. When was this written? I mean, we were just given it by Medley. So I'm not entirely sure how we would be written about, unless this is like some sort of a prophecy. Mm -hmm. Or is the government spying on us? 
Uh, we're gonna do our best. Maybe you just need some Tums. Or some Pepto. Story of my life. Okay, okay. That's, that's the deal then. And then I guess we'll be able to get that cool little orb that he has. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh... We're gonna do a bit of a mini game that I'm probably going to do really poorly. This is, um, this is someone's job and we're about to do it for fun, I guess. I don't know. It's hardly doing work if you love what you do. So let's talk to this guy here. See if we can help him out. We're in a little bit of a need for some cash. Not really, but a little extra spending money can go a long way. Some part-time work sounds like just the ticket. So we're gonna match the seal in the envelope with the icon behind it, and we're gonna throw it onto the shelf. This is gonna be really bad. Is that clear? Are we clear? Sort at least 10 letters. Here we go. Prepare yourselves. I'm gonna see if my, uh... These are all the same thing. Am I doing good? Oh, I've already done it. I don't know what the, the record is. Am I good? Oh, that's dumb. Alright, 22 my first try. That's not bad. I passed. 11 rupees, wow. I think that we want to probably get to a higher number than that. So let's see if we can get up to the lofty 25. Maybe that's a good idea. I felt good about that. I kind of slowed down near the end. Oh, 20 or more letters. You'll see some nice financial gain. All right, here we go. Oh, I missed. I felt pretty good about that for a second. It didn't let me have it. It's probably also, I got probably a good RNG in that first one. I'm not going to get it again. So this is probably going to be horrible. That's not bad. Yeah, more of the same thing is cool. Let's just keep it at. Keep keep it at. at, at. I can't talk. Oh, I'm doing really poorly. I'm not going to hit the mark that I did before. There's no way. All right. I was down two. I should have gotten that first one, but it didn't count, so. We're going to need to keep at it. That's just economics. Definitely need to get to 25 because we get a special reward for doing that. So I'm going to try this. I think I should be able to get it. It'd be nice if I could just use the D-pad instead of having to use the control stick. Oh, come on. That's bogus. I'm going to try to concentrate and do this at the same time. Oh, no. I've goofed. My control stick on my pro controller is very finicky, so... We are not going to be successful in this one. I will did it. I will get it eventually. I'm only going to do this one more time on camera because I don't really. I feel like I owe it to you. Owe it to you. All right, so you get nothing for uh, not getting at least twenty. I feel here's my last try on camera until I just go off the grid. All right, here we go. That was part of my problem is I just wasn't. Um, I wasn't hitting the uh, the first letter, and that was really screwing me up. Oh, you got to give it a second when you click it, so you know what you're getting. I'm like going really cattywampus about all this. Yeah, you gotta be really fast, and I am not. But I will get to 25, and I will show you that. In just a moment and there you have it viewers I've done it 25 letters with amazing coordination we are incredible but uh, we actually don't need any more money we are whoa 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 somebody else knows our name too 
Oh, we've been talked about a lot, so the chieftain's been passing our name around. That's fair. He believes in us, though, which is very nice. Having somebody in a place of management who believes in you is important. And if your manager doesn't believe in you, then they can go screw off. All right. So now we have become the champion of letter sorting. So we need to go outside for a second. And go right back inside. Wee! So there we go. The new part-time guy is here. This is not a Rito. And also, uh, no shirt and a tribal tattoo. Yes, sir. We did it. So now we need to do this 25 letter sort one more time. I figured it out. You actually can use the D-pad and me not doing that was really stupid because it's way easier. So here we go. Show them our skills. Hopefully we can do it. So much easier with the D-pad. Like, unbelievably easier. Just don't miss any, basically. It's really nice when it gives you the same one over and over again. I can dig that. Nailed it! At the buzzer. Heck yeah. Oh my gorsh. Tell your mom. Go tell your mom. But he needs a favor. He's not allowed to leave, so he wants us to put this letter in the post office box. I think we can do that for him. Now that we have our nice big sack. A note to mom. It's so sad you could almost cry. The funny thing, though... Is that we would have to have read it. At some point? Yep. Whee! Alright. So let's pop back outside really quick. And do just that. I think... Oop! That is not what I meant to do. Great! We're heading back to where we were before. I don't know if that's where this spot is in the song because I can't really hear it because the audio isn't that high in my headphones. Nope, I was... <laughs> here's the uh, here's the mailbox, though, by the way. So go ahead and open up your sack. Pick the letter to mom. Back out. And we're going to do a little bit of uh, post officing. So we do have something for delivery. Okay, great. If you would let me do this, just slide it in your nice little slot. Beautiful. Five rupees? I'm gonna guess, we don't have a choice. Ugh. I'm really hurting for money right now. We're gonna go ahead and progress the story a little bit. That's pretty much the majority of what today's episode is gonna consist of is Playing that god awful minigame. But first, we need to go back and meet up with our friend, Medley. She invited us to enter the Dragon Roost Cavern, and we have not done that yet. So we're gonna do that. Spooky. Everything looks a little hazy in here. A little ashy when I forget to put on my lotions. Oh, it's Medley! Oh, surprise! Hey! <laughs> As fast as I could. Oh, uh, well, you know, when in need, don't forget to help out. Seems like climate change has erased its pond. Not really, but... The loot knocked a boulder downed. Boulder downed? Oh, no. Well... Maybe stop being such a crappy friend. Oh, did she die? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so... A little insecure. But Medley's not afraid to ask for help. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I remember I really struggle with this, as I do most things. Of course, please stop talking. Okay, great. 
Throw me as hard as you can. So this is, um... This is weird. She wants you to throw her. I think we need to be up here. To get her to the ledge. <laughs> Alright. So one of the other things that you have to do that I completely neglected is that you have to pay attention to the, um... You have to pay attention to the direction that the wind is blowing. You can see it based on the particles that are flying all around. When they're flying towards, I guess, away from Link, that's when you want to throw medley. I just kind of did whatever I wanted, and that's not the way you do I could never, for some reason, I had a lot of trouble figuring this out when I was younger. I'm like, why is this not going the way that I want it to? All right, come on. There we go. Medley fly! She's like, see a sucker, bye! You're welcome. Okay, what does this save for us, though? I mean, I'm not so worried about you, but now we're stuck down here. Yeah, me either, I understand. That's one of my, my insecurities. Sometimes confidence can be at a premium. Ooh, but she's going to give us one of the best items in the game. Here it is! Wait for it. Oh, yeah. Now we can pee on the go. Carrying, <laughs> carrying water and holding other things. Oh, you betcha. All right, so Medley's not really supposed to be doing this, but she uh, realizes there might not be any other way. So go ahead and swap to your bottle. Get your bladder ready. Scoop up some agua. Alright. Something that looks dry and withered. We walked past that, actually, on our way over here. Yep. You climb up here. Something you'll notice right away. Yep. Is these bomb flowers look a little rough. Maybe we can give them some help. Uncork your bottle. And away we grow! Yay! Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the bomb. Toss it over the edge. And do it wrong. <laughs> it wouldn't be a D-Mike plays Let's Play if I did it right the first time, would it? Ugh, alright. So it turns out that it would really help if I was smart and I waited a moment. There we go. That'll do it! Okay. Now the cavern will fill with water and we should be able to make it to the other side. Sometime today. Okay, great. Super cool. Success awaits. Now we can swim across. And begin the next phase of our journey, of course. But that will happen next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. And I'll see you next time for more. Bye.